Okay, give it a couple minutes. What is it, baby? I hear you. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Happy, wonderful Wednesday to you, too. How you doing? <laughs> How's your week been? Hi, Rachel. Hi, Icy. Good morning. Yes, I see you, baby. Mal was just ramming into my legs down here on the floor. You can come up here if you want. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would do um, like start a new, just a little one, just a little sketchbook. Um, just as <laughs> just to start one to show not to be afraid to start a new sketchbook. So yeah. Hi, Hermit's Tale, uh, Darlene, who else am I missing? So good morning, everybody. Hello, Lurkers. Glad everybody could be here. And, uh, and I thought I'd do a giveaway. I got a couple things that Lena sent me, some happy mail. So I have some little sketches that Lena sent me that I'll show. Does it kind of look kind of dark or does it look okay? It looks maybe a little dark. Maybe we need to brighten it up just a little bit. There we go. Is that better? It depends on when I, when I open up the, maybe it's those lights. Um, I, I like my little lights, but it kind of interferes with the camera. <laughs> Hi, B. Hi, Tina. Thanks for saying good morning to everybody. Terry Brett, Journey, how you doing? B. Uh, who else? I'm trying to get catch everybody as they come in. Scrap girl. Hey, Janet. How's it going? I hear you, baby. I hear you. What is it? You want to come up here? Huh? You want to come up here? Well, come on. Come on. I hear you. Uh, Starla. Hi, Juanita. Oh, well, come on here. You want to come up? You never want me to pick you up and bring you up here, so there you go. All right, you happy now? Let's see, Becky Kalora, Nancy, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Good to see you, Nancy. Um, let's see. Uh, try to catch. Hi, Lena. Lena, I got your happy mail. I'm going to show your sketches. Thank you for sending them. That was awful nice. Hi, Barb. Let's see, Kathleen. I said hi to Anne. Scrap Girl 12. There's Tina saying hi to more people. <laughs> so, hi, Debbie Bruce. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, are you playing with Mama's pens? You are. All right, I'm going to pet. I'm going to pet. Oh, let's see. Yes, it did arrive. It arrived yesterday, Lena. Hi, Nancy. Oh, said hi to Rachel. <laughs> um, Denise, Denise goes, which one is it that likes the ASMR? I said, that's Rachel. Because yesterday when I was talking to her, I was cutting some paper with the big cutter and she could hear it. She goes, oh, you should do that for her. And she goes, she couldn't remember which one it was. I said, Rachel? She went, yeah. Because <laughs> I was cutting paper with the cut paper cutter and it was making ASMR. And she was going, that's a good ASMR. Yes, you, the cloud will be sketching this morning. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, you got your, oh good Tina. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad people are getting their little cards and their little goodies and stuff. I'm gonna probably do a book giveaway today. Uh one of the clearance books that I you see the little paw over there. One of the little um one of the books I got in clearance at Hobby Lobby for giveaways. <laughs>
She's not falling for it. <laughs> Trying to get her to fall for it. <laughs> yes, a supply eaten by the cloud. <laughs> Hi, Pacola. How's it, how's it going, my little snapdragon? <laughs> Do you want you don't want to play the little axolotl? <laughs> uh, let's see. Darlene, Bar, Maseki, Shelly. Oh, there. <laughs> Just stole my pen. Just took my pen away. If I like if I don't touch it, then she'll want it then. <laughs> the paw out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so how's everybody doing what's what are y'all working on today or any or just this week anything going on i'm going to try to get my garden planted this weekend and hope it hope there's no more freezes it's a possibility but i'm hoping <laughs> i wanted to get it done Hi, Riri. Lurk away. Lurk away. So, how to Becky? Kayla. I just started a fun sketchbook palette. See it. Painting class on Skillshare. Suzanne Allard, Allred, Allard. Very colorful and fun. Sketchbook painting. What kind of, I mean, is it like, um, let me get my iPad. Is it a, um, Watercolor? I mean, what's it? Do you know what it's called? Let me look. I'll look it up. I'll look it up since Julie's recommending it. Let's see here. Uh, where'd, you, where'd it go? Oh, she threw my pen on the floor. Let's see. Suzanne Allard. Allard. A L L. Okay, let me look her up. I'm looking it up, Julie. Okay, so she has. Oh, she's got all kinds of gouache, abstract floral. Oh, see more. She's even got more. So I'm not sure which one. Oh, Grow Your Creative Practice. This one, Grow Your Creative Practice with Sketch Books. That one, Julie? That's the only one I see that says Sketch. It says Sketch Books in it. This one? That one? I'll have to look at it later. Looks colorful. I'll, I'll mark it. I'll bookmark it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cat got it. <laughs> Bees working on a double fragile. Oh, the fragile world. Oh, those those take a while. Those take a while, B. Those aren't easy. Those aren't easy coloring. That's the one. Okay, I marked it, Julie. So I'll watch it. I'll look at it later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Don, who else? Oh, Leona. There, there she goes. She's leaving now. So let me grab my pen off the floor. <laughs> you want to get in that little box? You can get in there. There you go. There you, you can get in there. There's no papers in there. You want me to put a paper in there for you? You do. Let's see. I can get a tissue paper here. Oh, it's okay, B. 
same here. I scared her. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I got a couple pictures here to use for reference if I need it when I go to do some sketching. Okay. Let's bring the axolotl back to life. <laughs> Uh, the cloud speaks. Yes, the cloud speaks. Hi, Hut. How's it going? Good to see you. Comic Book Hut's going to be um, launching his his uh, book soon. If y'all don't follow the... Let me see. There he is. Follow the Hut. Follow the Hut. He also does baseball. He does comics. Um, so good to see you, Hut. Uh, still working on the same picture, Tina. Yeah, that uh, Nick, uh, Nick Phil. Well, I can't say his real last name, but he goes by Nick Philbert. He, he, you hear in the here playing with the tissue paper. <laughs> She's having fun with that now. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, those are some hard pages to get done, Tina. I know I, I do them. Hi, Carla. Let's see. Who else? Vicky. Anybody else I missed coming in? Okay, so I thought we would do some... We haven't done any Smack and Dragon for a while. I don't want to say years, but it's been probably months. So I thought we would do that. I'd just show how to... Just a brand new sketchbook is sometimes intimidating to people. So, and I've got so many on the go, but I thought, well, if y'all have seen my in, intro on uh, YouTube, you hear down there, um, how I just spray stuff in the sketchbook so you're not intimidated. Well, we're going to do the smack and dragon, which does mean I have to move the iPad. Uh, we haven't done smack and dragon for a while. So I'm going to just move this stuff out of the way, and we will do that in a minute. We're going to splatter some ink. We'll do some ink splattering. Let me move it over here. But first, let's show Lena. Lena sent me some stuff. She sent me some notes, and she's, she liked the – I sent her a uh, giveaway or um, some – I forgot what I – it wasn't a giveaway. I just sent her – I don't remember. But anyway, I sent her something, and uh, she wanted to send me some ephemera. She said she doesn't really have any ephemera, so she made some copies of her uh, – her drawings and she goes you can cut them up and collage if you want well i don't know that i'm gonna do that let me take i don't know if i'm gonna cut them up but <laughs> i do like them so let's keep that then she said she has little notes on each one cut this up and glue it like a small collage she has a little i like all her little post-it whoops I like all her little post-it notes and things that she has. Um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so, so she sent me copies of some of her drawings. And um, look, if y'all don't follow Lena, where is she? She was here a second ago. Let me see if I can find her. Hi, Randy. Yes, Riri, Smack and Dragon. Where are you, Riri? There you are. Riri, Smack and Dragon. Hi, Lucette. Where's... There she is. There's Lena. So if y'all uh, don't follow Miss L Linux 2010, I got a... Oh, you got a kit. Okay. I couldn't remember what I said. I, you know, I send out a lot of stuff. I don't remember. But anyway, if y'all don't find... If y'all don't... My baby's phone. If uh, y'all don't follow Miss Linux, she has some amazing art on her channel. So serious, seriously good art. So go follow Lena. And um, so she sent me these lovely, lovely uh, copies of her sketches. Let's see. This is from, well, I got to leave this on here because I won't remember where it is. This is from Nai, Nai, Nihon, inspired by a Danish urban sketcher, Mad, Mad's Stage from 1982. I just love his style, she says. Let me put that on here. <clears throat> so, um, thank you, thank you, Janet. There's J uh, there's Lena's channel right there. So look at these, aren't these good urban sketches? This one says, "What's up with all these sticky notes?" Other than making you giggle. 
<laughs> You're so cute, Lena. You're so cute. Uh. <laughs> so all the way from Denmark. For those of us who are familiar with thumbs, but oh, well, thank you, thank you, Rachel. Hi, Judy. Anybody else I miss? Hi, Cat and Paste. And uh, so there's this one. Then this one, she says, "I love the old buildings in my town. How can how can anyone walk by these without taking out a sketchbook?" So. Aren't these good, guys? I love it. And I'm not going to cut these up. I might trim them down and put them in something, Lena, but I'm not going to cut them up. Okay, so this one says, my favorite place in my city. I used to cross this square to get to work and often walked out on it in full morning sunshine, kissing my, kissing my forehead. <laughs> so... Well, let me show it to you. So aren't they awesome, guys? Great urban sketching, Lena. Thank you so much for sharing. And I will not be cut them up. I will probably trim them down and put them in something, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut them up and use them in the collage. So I do like all the post-its as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lena. That's so sweet. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, let's see who else. Hi view. Who else am I missing? Dawn. I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. Let me get a sip of my cranberry juice. I, I drink coffee before I, I drink so much coffee before I even get here in the morning at 830. So by the time I get here, coffee and art in the morning, it's then it's now art in the morning because I've already had my coffee. So then I'm into the cranberry juice by then. Okay. And I got, I thought of something after the show on Monday when I was showing Boo and her pants and her, and her, um, things that she makes with her, uh, sewing. Hang on. I got to make some space here. I said, yeah, she's going back to Tuscaloosa. And I went, why did I say that? She goes to school in Tallahassee. And I said, why did I say Tuscaloosa? <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, so I'm going to pick up all my, uh, these are just um, dilution sprays. And if you do use these in your sketchbooks, they are water reactivated. So you have to be careful when you uh, use uh, different sprays or different watercolors or whatever you're using. You have to either know, make note or something if you're going to work on top of these you have to remember that these will reactivate right plus i got my pens i thought we could just do some ballpoint pen sketching and let me move my little axolotl out of the way here let's put him back up here <laughs> and uh, this is just a uh it's the back side of a quilt you know where you cut i never i don't quilt and i don't sew but i've used this just for a <laughs> As you can see, just a craft mat. So, but the back side, you can see, is shiny. Okay, so it will, you know, it's water waterproof, and it is going to flash out and look weird, color wise. Let me maybe turn the light down until I get done uh, with it because of the color, right? So let's turn the light down there. So, smack and drag, and if y'all don't know, um, now smack and dragging. You know, Tim Holtz has done that for years with his tags, right? He'll put his sprays down or different things. He'll turn, he'll take his, uh, he'll take his um, tag and, um, you know, go like this and drag it. Well, I just like the term smack and dragon. So that's what I started calling it. And the light's just going to keep changing, guys, What depending on what I put out here. It's going to go from light to dark. And if I move the, the sketchbook or or what. So you just have to kind of work, bear with me for a few minutes while we do this. So this is a brand new sketchbook. It's, um, I don't know what, how, where I got, if I got off of Amazon or I got it at Blick, I don't remember, but any little sketchbook will do, you know, this is just, um, I can give you the ISBN of this one, but I can't see it because it's so tiny. Where's my, here it is. 
I mean, it is like minuscule. 9780785839156. And I think it's like about a five by seven. Let me measure because I'm not sure. She's laying down there on that tissue paper. On the tissue paper that I put in that box. Okay, let's see. So it is uh, five and a half by eight and a, eight and a quarter. So that's the size. Okay, so what we're going to do is when I get a new sketchbook, I always hear the heavenly choir go <laughs> for the first page. Well, so many people are intimidated buy a new sketchbook and so if you mess it up some then you're not afraid to work in it so i mean i i can't even tell you how many sketchbooks i'm working in here's one that i'm working in this is one of my faith journals that i'm working in i have um i mean i've just got tons of them i could pull out i could pull out 20 sketchbooks that are ongoing and, and I you have more than that, but those are the ones that I just rotate through depending on what I'm doing. You know, I just have a sketchbook for different purposes. So anyway, so what we're going to do is, oh, and we're also going to give away this book today. This is one of the books that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance, normally $22.99. I got it for $5.74. So um I will uh, do a giveaway with this. Now, I, international, I'm going to have to find a print or something else to see, or some art card, maybe some art cards. That's what I'll do. I'll send you some of my art cards. Let me look here. I have some out. Uh, here we go. I'll send you some of these uh, collage art cards that I have that I had I have printed out. So I'll send you some of these collaged art cards. They're just prints. And um, I'll send some of these out to International because sending this book International would cost more than twenty two ninety nine. So we'll do that. We'll give the give these away for International. Okay. So here we go. So um, and I do have to dry in between. I'll get my get my heat gun here, which is probably going to bother the cloud who is asleep on that tissue paper right now by my feet. Um, so I'm just going to kind of open it at random. Let's see, when did this one come out? This one came out 20, 2021. So, um, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to open it, you know, and I'm going to go like all through it. This one lays pretty flat. As you can see, this one lays pretty flat, so I like that. If y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Make sure you have live chat clicked at the top. And, um, yeah. All right. So here's what we do. So let's just start maybe with some red. I don't need much because it's a small sketchbook. When I do a big sheet, then I'd put more out. Let's put some red. And the ye my yellow is, there's hardly anything left in it. So I have to kind of put, put a couple drops out like this because the spray bottle doesn't it's so there's hardly any in it so the spray thing doesn't reach the bottom okay so red yellow maybe some turquoise oh that's blue but that's okay i was going to use the turquoise but we'll do that on the next one and then what i do is i take um a spray bottle give it a couple sprays now this ha you have to do this on a non-porous surface it has to be on something plastic that doesn't sink, you know, that the, it doesn't sink in. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So here we go. So now I'm just going to take this, turn it over and smack and drag. And there we go. Okay. If you want a little bit more over on this side, just smack it and drag it a little bit more. So there we go. That's, that's it. All right. So now this is going to get real muddy real quick. So I suggest don't do more than two smack and dragons before you clean it up and put fresh colors out because this is going to turn brown because you're mixing it. Right. You're mixing colors. So you have to clean it up every, you know, every other time at least. Now, before I turn the page on, it's soaking in pretty quick because this is kind of a porous sketchbook, but I'm going to hit it with the heat gun real quick. Okay, I'm going to have to do that between each one. And you do too, because you don't want your pages sticking together. It'll only take a second.
I think that's going to be good enough so it don't stick together. All right, now I'm going to go into a few pages in. I'm going to go in a few pages, and I'm going to mix some new colors. Let's, now let's do the tur turquoise. Turquoise, uh, orange maybe, and I have a lime green, but what do I do with it? Where's my lime green? I didn't bring the lime green. <clears throat> and some lime green. And it doesn't have to be dilutions. It can be any kind of inks or anything. All right, so now I got those three colors. I wouldn't recommend more than three because you'll get mud real quick. A couple of spritzes. And now, here we go. Wait for it. Smack and drag. I'm, I'm moving the thing. There we go. Okay, smack and drag that little bit there. All right, so there we go. I probably have enough here. Maybe if I add a little pink, we'll see what happens. And add some water to it. Now let me dry this real quick before we go to another page. And I know the light's fading in and out and in and out, but there went the there went the cloud. If you have a little lot, if you know have a quite a bit, you can kind of dab it off if it's too much, too wet. And the idea is now you can sketch on top of this with either pencil or a ballpoint pen. I would I would be careful using any kind of um, anything that's going to reactivate this because it will. All right, so let's go a few more pages in. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got over here. Smack and drag. Smack and drag. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to clean this up because that's plenty of time for, I mean, plenty of, because uh, it'll, it'll turn brown. Okay, so now let's go ahead and dry this. If you have any questions, put it in caps and I may miss it. Just say it again. So this makes it so you're not afraid to use your sketchbook. And we're going to do some other things in it, too. I just want to dry enough so they're not going to, the pages aren't going to, it's going to get fluffy and it's going to get messy on the edges. Okay, so let's go to another few pages. Okay, love the purple and green. Okay, well, let's do purple. And let's do light. And this does stain the dilutions. It does stain your hands. So green and let's see, maybe a, maybe a red, just a dot. Okay. And again, the water really does make it work better. What a great way. <laughs> I know. Use up your sprays, right? Okay, so here we go. This thing wants to move because it's on top of this other thing that's kind of slick. So, all right, here we go. Smack and drag. Smack and drag. Smack and drag. There we go. Okay. And there may be enough here to do, let's add some teal. And we'll get one more pull out of this. Okay, in a minute. As soon as I, I got to dry this now. Let me dry this real quick. I know the colors come out great. You know, the, it makes cool colors, doesn't it, Becky? But don't use probably more than three, because it'll just you'll just get brown. Okay, so now let's move into another section. All right, and we're just gonna. Smack and drag, smack and drag, and there you go. All right, so now let's clean this up. And you go through a lot of baby wipes, and again, it will stain your hands, okay? The dilutions, okay? Here we go. Let's dry this. <laughs> yeah, Janet, Janet has a hard time smacking and dragging, although I don't know why, but she does. 
Oh, and Janet, by the way, my Pictionary deck of cards is going to be here today. It probably won't be here before the show is over. My mail doesn't usually get here until right after 12. But I did. Janet made me get some Pictionary cards. So um, she wants me to do the Pictionary with her. Okay, the yellow, like I said, there's hardly any yellow left. So let's just put a couple drops out like this. So let's do yellow red and pink okay now spray all right let's go to another section all right here we go smack and drag smack and drag okay maybe a little on that end over there like that Okay, I think I can get another one out of here. We'll add uh, maybe some turquoise to that. Another thing of water. All right, let's go ahead and dry this one. <laughs> yeah, let's play. Well, I, we'll see what time my mailman comes, Janet. It's coming. It's coming from Amazon. So, it, but it's because it's a small package. It might come in the mail, or am, it might come from Amazon. So, I don't know. Okay, let's go to another section. <clears throat> this is what you were doing on my ever, first ever stream of watching me. Oh, Scrap Girl, neat. Okay, here we go. Scrap, scrap, <laughs> scrap and drag. <laughs> Smack and drag. There we go. See? Isn't that cool? Maybe a little bit on this side, just a touch. There we go. And, you know, don't dilly dally in there. Don't leave it like I think Janet sometimes sits it down for a second and then pulls it you, you gotta just really just smack it and drag it smack and drag all right let's get some fresh baby wipes out clean this up <clears throat> and dry it maybe we'll do one or two more oh you're welcome you're welcome amira Okay, there's still some over here. Let's make sure it's cleaned up because you don't want this stuff all over. It, it see, this is the color you get. <laughs> you don't want that all over you. Okay, let's do. I want to do red and yellow because I have a plan to do. Um, I was thought about doing some a mushroom drawing, some mushrooms. I wasn't really going to draw them in this book because it's kind of little, and I wanted to show up for you guys. But if I do draw one in here. Let's get some red and yellow on here. All right, so now I'm going to go find another section. Let's go back over here. All right, and let's smack and drag. Smack and drag. There we go. All right. And now I think I'll add maybe a little, let's add a little purple to that, and we'll do one more <clears throat> in a minute. Let's dry. Let's dry it up. It's, it's soaking in pretty quickly into this kind of cottony-like sketchbook paper. Hello, education. Let's see, Barb, anybody else I miss? I know, right, Debbie? Each one is different. All right, let's see. Let's find another section here. Let's see what we get here. Smack and drag. Smack and drag. See, there wasn't that much ink on here. So we're just kind of pulling up what's left. All right, let's do a couple more just because we have it out. All right, let's see. Let's do blue and pink. Oh, I think this is a light pink. Blue, 
light pink and lime maybe you just never know what it's going to look like right all right let's see that one's almost already dry exactly rachel so you just you know use it up all right let's find and go to the next section here all right smack and drag smack and drag there we go just you know you just never know what you're gonna get Okay, let's see. Let's use a little bit more pink and maybe this fuchsia color. All right, and then some water. Go to another section. And I always recommend if you have a spine that's flat like this and you're putting wet mediums in your book, you want to work front to back, back to front. You want to work all around. If you just go like straight front to back your spine is going to warp in no time okay so smack and pick up there smack and drag maybe a little more at the top there okay now let's with that left over let's add a little green to that we'll see what happens when we do that might turn kind of green and brown all right so let's try this Don't be afraid that, you know, it's going to get on the edges and everything. But you, the idea is for you to really mess your sketchbook up so you're not afraid to sketch in it. Right? Okay, here we go. Smack and drag. Smack and drag. Here we go. All right, so let's clean this up. And I think we have enough smack and dragons done. I mean, you could do the whole book if you want to. All right, so let me move the plastic mat off here and let's dry this one okay so the next thing I'm going to do is going to be kind of messy as well so I want to make sure I make some space all right let me move all of these out of the way because I don't have a lot of space on this desk I really don't <laughs> I have to make room every time we do something different so let me put some of these back up here on the shelf <clears throat> Now, let me uh, try to get a little bit of this off my hands. And we'll do a couple other techniques to get you unafeared, unafeared from your sketchbook. And I need to, I'll have to take my craft scrubby to my hands or fingernail polish remover because this does, does, doesn't come off. I mean, it's really staining, but that's why they're so bright too. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get this piece of tissue paper that I put up on the floor for the baby <laughs> or Malibu. I say baby, I mean my cat. My baby is not sitting on the floor on tissue paper. That's <laughs> my cat. Just so I have a little bit of protection here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get out some ink. This is just some uh, India waterproof uh, ink. So you use what you have, but I'm going to pour some out here. I'm going to take a floppy brush. I'm going to get it wet so it's nice and floppy. <laughs> All right, so I will do, I'll start with a blank page, but I also want to do some on some of that, the color pages that I just did, just so you can kind of see. All right, so I'm just going to, um, and this is just a soapstone for, uh, that I, this is what I use when I do calligraphy. I put my ink on these stones and then I put, I use this rather than dipping my, um, 
ink pens, my dip pens, rather than dipping them in a bottle or something, I put them out on, whoa, see, <laughs> I put them on a soapstone like this. I really didn't want to get my underpaper, this all messed up, but whatever. Um, and that way you can just drag your, your brush or your nib, your nib through this rather than trying to dip it into a uh, bottle. All right, so I'm just going to start. And you see me do this with a bucket of stars with white paint when I do um, co collage things. So I'm going to try to be careful because it will, well, I guess it, my shirt probably wouldn't notice. But now you do need to dry between this because the wet ink, this is drying real quick because it's like that cottony kind of sketchbook paper, right? But um, th the ink will stick your pages together. So we want to kind of hit it with the heat gun just a little bit. All right, so now let's go to one of the pages that have color on it. And if you get a lot on it, you can make big blobs too. And you don't have to do a whole, you could just do it in, in a section. Like maybe you want big blobs up in here and nothing down in here. You know, you can just do it however you want. See? Isn't that cool? The ink blob is getting too <laughs> It's creeping over, right? It's creeping over. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I'll, I'll fold it over so I can kind of. I just didn't want the ink splattering everywhere. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Hang on, guys. This is kind of a coat, plastic coated faux wallpaper thing so that I cover a board with. So it cleans up pretty well. But I'm going to go ahead and move this. I can probably use some of that as in a collage project. But I just don't want it... Um, I just don't want it all over the table and then I'll be, I'll be a hand, I'll be a hot mess. Okay. So let me get another piece of wax paper or something here. Do I have one out? Do I have any wax paper out? Oh, if Colleen comes in. That reminds me too. If Colleen comes in, I got to show her something. If she comes in from her show yesterday. <laughs> I had to laugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some wax paper down just to have something so it's not all over the place. Oh, good. I'm glad, Brenda D. All right, so now let's go to just, let's just go to um, oh, some plain pages here. All right, now let me pick this up and put it without making a big mess. I probably poured way too much out. And you can also add a little bit of water, you know, to make it, you know, more liquidy. So, um, you know, you can just do some, you know, just don't, don't be afraid of your sketchbook. Just play in it and, you know, get some stuff down. That way, when you go to do some sketches, you still have some blank pages that are nothing on them, but now you have pages that you're not afraid to work on, right? Oh, Colleen is here? Okay, wait, I gotta show you something, Colleen. So, wait, let me hit, let me dry this because I don't want to try to talk over this. <laughs> I got to show you this, Colleen. If, I think it's in the book I it's in. All right, so yesterday, Colleen and Kathy did some, um, I forgot what the prompt was, I for, but she they work out of that prompt, right? They work out of that prompt book. And and I don't remember what the prompts were, but I somehow they got onto Speedos. <laughs> Colleen, wait, I got to show you. We all have this same book. I guess you forgot we had this book. We all have this book that we play altar in, you know. <laughs> Let me see if I can flip to it. So, Colleen, <laughs> I think it's toward the front. Let me look. I hope it's in. I'm pretty sure it's in this book. I didn't go back and look till I just thought of it. So, <laughs> Uh, you're gonna laugh so hard. Well, wait. Let's see if I can find it. I'm gonna flip until I'm I'm flipping through my. Well, let me see if I can move this. Let's see. Let's move this over. Let's move. Let's pile this a little up here. Let's kind of slide this over. 
So in my altered book, this is, we, we all three, me, Kathy, Colleen, we all use this book, right, to alter things out of. But let's see if I can find it here. I think it's in this book, Colleen. There's my dinosaurs, but wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. I hope it's in this book. I'm pretty sure it is. But I don't remember where it is, so I got to kind of flip till we... No, there's the one we did last week, the giraffe and the monk, but wait. <laughs> My eyes are watering. I'm laughing, Colleen, but I got to find it. Wait, guys, wait. Give me a minute. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. <laughs> it is in this book, isn't it, Colleen? Isn't that guy in the, in the Speedo in this book? Do I have the right book? <laughs> I don't know. I should just try to flip it. But I thought it was toward the beginning. Didn't you take him out of this book, Colleen? Let me move that over a minute. It is? Okay, then wait a minute. I got to find it. Because I did something with that guy, too. <laughs> not, not yesterday, but a while back. Oh, my eyes are watering. Let's see here. It's easy to miss a page in here because there's, you know, it's a thick book. <clears throat> I should have found it earlier, but I didn't think about it till uh, it just occurred to me. So let's see. I don't know what page. <laughs> I see that. Oh, it's in the back. Okay, so let me go toward from the back then. Okay. I'll flip it this way. <laughs> but they did some fun things yesterday with their prompts. It was really funny. They did some good stuff. If y'all don't follow Colleen and Kathy Berg, they stream together on Tuesdays and Fridays. Hang on, Colleen. I'm looking. Sorry, guys. We're out of trail. <laughs> oh, let's see. What is it? I hear you, Malibu. I mean, this is a big book, so there's a lot of pages to try to flip. This going to probably be the last page I look at. Oh, my gosh. Because I didn't tear mine out. It's in, it's in the book, so... I'm still flipping. Hang on, guys. <laughs> would you? Well, you. Why would you keep looking at? Okay, Rachel. <laughs> I'm. I'm flipping here. It must be toward the middle because I've already got. I'm back to the middle again. Oh my gosh, it is in this book. I know it is, right? Oh, I'm almost done with all the pages. Is it going to be the last page I look at? I mean, all right, Rachel. Seriously here, guys? Oh! There it is. Okay, wait for it, Colleen. Wait for it. Ready? <laughs> I had my guy being carried off by a pterodactyl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I couldn't wait to show this to you. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys, sorry, not sorry, rabbit trail. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, it was so fun. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's go to one of the pages that have <laughs> that has some ink on it here. All right, so let's 
Let's make some bigger blobs. We've got to get it real watery here to get bigger blobs. And, you know, you can just do some... Whatever, you know, just it's just a place now that you're not afraid to use your sketchbook. Once you've messed it up, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> fly, man, fly. Yes, Colleen. Okay, so let's go to a couple more just plain pages and do some things. So you can do just some splatters, some ink. You just do a little of everything or each rather. But you got to dry the ink in between because it will, it will stick your pages together. <laughs> I know, it was funny yesterday when y'all were doing that. So I'm going to go through and do a few of these here. Yeah, they can't, you can make them look like characters. Who is it that does, I know Patty Tolly Parrish does lettering. I mean, fake, um, Fake uh, uh, alphabets and stuff. And she has the stencils. I think Joan did that last stencil that looked like lettering. And the stencils that I showed y'all on Monday. But yeah, let's see. Let's just kind of... You can do all kinds of... You know. And then add some... But Patty Tolly Parish does this really well. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I sent you out a surprise, Tammy. It went out yesterday. I hope you can hear me while I'm talking over the heat gun. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> Thank you for the super sticker, Tammy. Uh, okay, let me do a couple more of these and then we're going to do some different stuff. All right, but I just want to use up this ink here. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy, well, I mean, I'm sure she likes coming here too, but she's a mod over at Keisha's Creations. The auction where I showed y'all where I bought my stuff that I showed on Monday. Yeah, she's a mod over there. And Tina is also a mod over at Pete's uh, Creepy Little Book who does all kinds of creepy little things. <laughs> I mean, he talks about, you know, everything, UFOs and Bigfoot and and legends. And I think he's been doing Norse legends. And and uh, so anyway, uh, Tina Maud's over there. I don't know when she sleeps. Oh, I know she tells me she just sleeps off and on here and there. But, you know, Pete's on the middle of the night, like 12, 1, 2 in the morning. Okay, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and just get some. Let's get rid of all this ink here. Okay, I think there's enough here to do a little bit more splatter. And then we're going to wrap up the ink. <laughs> we're going to wrap up the ink. <clears throat> Creepy baby. Let me clean my brush here. 
and let's pick this up. Let me put let me put this on a paper towel because it's got some on the bottom too. <clears throat> Okay, so we're not making a big mess on the table. Let's move that to the side. I'm going to get rid of this wax paper. And fresh baby wipes. Okay, let's do a couple other things so that you're not afraid. Thank you, Tina. So you're not afraid to use a sketchbook. And then, see, the thing is, guys, now you can go on top of any of this and draw and doodle and whatever, and you won't be afraid to, you know, play in it. Thanks, Tina. <clears throat> All right. And, you know, leave some blank if you want to just sketch, too. But this just gets you. So now you can, you're not afraid just to open this anywhere and do something in it. Okay, so another couple of things you can do is, let's see if I can find that, my big pencil, my pencil, my big pencil, where is it, oh, I don't know what I did with, oh, here we go, <clears throat> so I like this, is the general, <clears throat> it's a general, Kimberly General 9XXB, it's like the softest graphite you can find. And it's just so smooth and so dark. <clears throat> so you can do some scribbles. <clears throat> now, I don't think this one is water soluble, but I do have one that is. Hang on. <clears throat> you can get the graphite sticks like these. Let's get a 6B here. And these are water soluble. So if you want to add, you know, some, um, let me get a water brush. <clears throat> if you just want to have some graphite and have it, uh, instead of the ink, moving the ink around, you can move your graphite around. And you can go back in here and just use regular pencil that's not water soluble. You can go back in here with your... Um, other brushes like um, uh, ink, you know, ink brushes, and you can go and just, you can just do so much. There's just so much you can, you do anything, right? But I just want y'all to see that you can make a mess on your page and then, um, and, and then play with that. So you're not afraid to, to draw and doodle and color and do whatever on your uh in your sketchbook you should everybody should have a, at least one sketchbook where it's just like a hot mess where you could just do anything in it we're about to find out what oh whether it was water <laughs> yeah so so you know have a sketchbook where you can play with your materials like this all right so now let's take my watercolors here. Let me go ahead and wet them down. All right, so you can take your watercolors and let's take the blue. This is kind of a indigo. So we'll do a few graphite and watercolor pages. And, of course, you can go bright colors and everything. Guess I qualify for that hot mess category. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm cleaning my brush off over here on the baby wipe. Let's get some of this yellow in here. And you can also move it around with some water. And so I'm, I'm also moving that graphite around in here. <clears throat> and this book will get fluffy as you keep using it. My page would look like a three. Well, you know, they all look. This doesn't look like. This could look like a three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is that you, you get out of your fear. You get out of your fear of the page.
All right, let's find another blank page here. And again, I'm going to put some graphite, water-soluble graphite, regular, just soft graphite. You know, just, it, it's just about getting marks on the page at this point. All right, so then let's go in here with some, add a little bit of water, smear that around. I wouldn't recommend dipping your brush in with the graphite on it, but <laughs> have some bright areas. Let it down. I mean, I just can't you see fall trees in here? Fall leaves and trees. I mean, I can see a lot of things. Of course, you can always just do abstract too. It doesn't have to be. A, a scene or whatever you can make this faces <coughs> <Your pages. laughs> uh, all right let's dry <laughs> and i love these colors so i'm going to use one of these colors on every page or on a page Let's move on to another section. All right. <clears throat> okay, wet it. Because there's water soluble, um, water soluble um, graphite on here, right? All right, let's do let's do the hot pink. Let's do the hot pink and maybe the mustard color with that. <clears throat> I'm going to look at Chad here in a minute, and we're going to do our giveaway in a minute. <clears throat> All right, let's do a little bit of our... olive green in there and then let's maybe up. <clears throat> so let's try that whoop let's try <laughs> go all in with reckless yes you just do it and then I mean, I'm telling you, this was so you you would not believe that how much it inspired you when you just want to go and draw something or sketch something, and you can do something more detailed. You can do pen and ink. You just have to remember what is water soluble that will move with other things on top. You have to just make sure it's really dry. Be careful. Test it out. Let's do one or two more pages. I'm going to just find a section here that's here go. All right. So because I know this is water soluble, right? So I know this is going to move and this one's not. This one's not water soluble. OK, 
Okay, so let's get those areas wet there. Okay, clean my brush. Let's do some purples. And you can take more time and you can think about what you're doing a little bit, you know, like, do I want this to be whatever? You know, you can think about some. I'm, I'm really just trying to get some uh, marks down on the paper just to show you not to be afraid of your paper, right? Okay, that's that one's done. And you can also go back in here with your, I still have some ink over here. And go in here with some of this, some of your uh, splatter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right, Becky? Of course, y'all know I love collage. You could go in here with some collage bits and add collage in here. Maybe I'll do some of that too. I wanted to add a, do a couple more pages where I added the splatters. Let's see, where's my... Just a little bit of graphite here. I do want to kind of remember to clean my brush off here before I dip it in the, you know, let's do some purple. And you can just play with your favorite colors. I love this color palette. I told y'all that I found it from uh, By Bun. And then let's put some orange maybe in there. A little more water. Move it around. Okay. Add some a little bit of water to it so I can add some ink splotches. See, isn't that fun? I mean, it's just fun just doing this. It just inspires you to get motivated to play and do something. Hang on, I'll show you in a minute, Alexis. Hi, Judy. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing people. Songbird. Who else? Jill. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to another. It's kind of. All right, I'm going to just do the same kind of thing here. And then maybe just some pencil that doesn't move. And then add a little bit of water to that because that will make the graphite move. And then go in here with our water brush. What color do I want? Let's see. Let's go in here with some olive green. Maybe a little bit of the yellow. Yellow ochre. Which is turning green because it's on the, with, I'm mixing it with the green here. Okay, then again a little more splat and dry. <laughs> well, you gotta kind of make it fun, scrap scrap girl.
Okay, so let's add a little splat over here. I'll add some more splats. To do drips. If I do a drip, so let's get some paper towel under it and let's get some water in this black here. I'll tilt the book up like this. And what we'll do is we'll go across the top like so. And you can do this with colors too, but and then we'll just go across the top. And have some drips come down. So have, have a paper towel there to catch it. And then maybe some. Let's go in here with some more of the orange. Let's put some of that up here. Putting them on kind of thick so that when you add the water, it'll run. It kind of pounce it. <clears throat> Let's see. I think there's not much water left in this brush. <clears throat> I need to fill it so I can clean it. All right. Okay. So I think y'all kind of get the idea, right? Make it look like trees too. This could look like tree limbs. It, or it doesn't have to be anything either, guys. It doesn't have to be something specific. It can just be an abstract with colors that you like. But I'm just showing you, you know, what it kind of I can just see the trees in there. <clears throat> All right, let me finish drawing. Thank you, Slow. So let's see, maybe add a couple more splotches on oh, a lot of pages in there. I haven't done anything here. Just to make it even more messy. do just sketches and doodles or you can try to draw something clean that brush you can do something in here you could and and um what do you call it uh big pins are going to be your best friend in this kind of situation because you're not going to hurt them you're not going to ruin them you're not going to um you know you, you can do anything you want with them i was i have a plan to do some lemurs in a and a and uh, in, in a mushroom field but on a, you know, just on a, as a scene, not in, not in my little sketchbook here, but I'm just going to kind of, just kind of play on here and just show you can. <clears throat> I'm probably pretty kind of far away, but I, I'm thinking about what I'm doing. The next thing it needs more space, but there we go. <clears throat> and just kind of do, doodle and draw. And then maybe take uh, my brush pen and get some dark right here. And let's see, let's get uh, some white paint. <clears throat> and again, guys, I'm just this the only reason I'm doing a mushroom is because that's in my head for the, what I want to do with the sketch in a little while. But, um, that's why I'm just doing this. <laughs> All right, let's get a regular paintbrush here. <clears throat> and some water. Let's just put a little water on the side there so I can wet this. And, uh... Let's 
but you know, you can do anything. I'm just showing you doing something, you know, just doing something. Um, just <laughs> And again, now let's see if I can make this move. The, this is a dilution, so I can probably make this paint the the white and the yellow move into a um, you know a flat color there. See, and if I want more yellow, of course you'd add more yellow. But <clears throat> so let's dry this. <laughs> Got a blob of water right there. And then maybe get some pencils. I was trying to show you using a little of everything, right? <laughs> Just trying to do a little, show y'all a little of what all different things you can do. Okay, so let's get a couple of red pencils. All right, Rachel. Looking through my for my pencils here. I want my dark. Yes, I, want I want my Tuscan red. Is that it there? Yeah, Tuscan red. Okay. Let me sharpen. You're. <laughs> All right. So now I think this should be dry enough. So the white paint's not dry though. Sharpening. So I know y'all probably aren't having as much fun as I am, but <laughs> I just want to try a couple different things to show you not to be afraid of your sketchbook. And maybe I want a couple, let's get my back of a brush here. Maybe make those just a little brighter as well, but then put the. Let's do it with the brush. A quick little mushroom. <clears throat> okay, so oh, you having fun? Oh, good. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> then, and again, you can also just do a lot of things with your um, pen. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Anne, for the 1999 super sticker. <clears throat> thank you, Anne. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for supporting the channel, Anne. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. Hope you're getting some ideas and just, you know, not being afraid to play. <clears throat> thank you so much. I appreciate that. Flo said, thank you. Thank you, Ann. Y'all are so good about thanking everybody that supports the channel, too. Y'all, y'all are awesome. Hi, Aunt Beck. Let's see, who else? Um, 
Aunt Beck, when I whenever I see new ribbons, I think of you. Like when Aunt Beck does all kinds of like, I don't slow stitch. The closest I really sew is to making like my prayer pouches. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get these ribbons and maybe make some prayer patches. So I'll have to show you all the new ribbons that I bought. The ribbon on Hobby Lobby is 50% off this week. So I got some new ribbons. But I think of, of, of Anne and Mary when they... Um, they do either stitching or, um, you know, any kind of anything sewing. So thank you, Anne. That was sweet. So I'm just putting on, I put a little graphite on there and I'm just kind of moving that around and just, you know, you could just play. Maybe if you want to set it down on the ground, you could make it sit down on the ground. So it's not flo floating in air. But I really want to do the, uh, I want to do some lemurs. Whoops, that's not dry yet. Some lemurs in a field of mushrooms or maybe a couple lemurs. So more like a you know, bigger piece. So let me dry this real quick. I'll show you those ribbons, Aunt Beck. <laughs> My old mushroom, Rebecca. Thank you. Let's see if the paper's dry enough to take some Posca. It has to really be dry because the Posca won't, you know, show up if you don't. So I'm just thinking you could do some. I could do it with a brush too, but I'm thinking about adding some highlights in here. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, just to show you a little something, something in the sketchbook. I think it's dry enough to close. So look already, guys, look at that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> See, you can get a fluffy sketchbook in under an hour. Okay, so let me do two things. Let me move my uh, let me move my pencils out of the way here. Wait, wait, real quick. Uh, <laughs> I'll show back those ribbons. Well, I, I'll show them to anybody, but uh, her and Mary make me think of anything sewing. So I got a couple of different ones that were uh, on, on sale. One was actually on clearance. But I think of like Mary makes, um, Mary makes, um, hang on. Where's Aunt Beck? Let's go. There she is. Okay. So if y'all don't follow Aunt Beck and you like to sew and quilt and they're renovating right now, then if you like uh to see people sewing and quilting and doing all kinds of things. She does paper stuff too. But um, anytime people, and I don't make clusters, right? Um, my hands are really dirty. Oh, so I pull something down here. I don't really make clusters. I make, I'm trying to find one of my prayer pouches. I give them away as I make them. So I should have one at least in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it to show y'all. Is that one? I wanted to show you one prayer pouch if I have one made. Okay, here's one. So I make these little, and I don't make them often, and I and I don't I do it in spurts. But I make these prayer pouches, and um, and uh, they're all hand sewn, so they're real messy, and they're little, and I put a little prayer, and I send them off with a prayer and a, and some kind of a charm or something on the front. This was one of my first ones. Now I do a little bit extra things on them that this one doesn't have, but um, it, they're all hand stitched. And then I put a prayer in them. I gave a whole bunch to my mom's, um, oh, oh, I say old ladies, but I mean, they're like really elderly. Mom was in her eighties when she passed and her friends were all, they, you know, when we went to her funeral, I brought them all a prayer pouch and um, and put a prayer in there, right? And uh, put it on a stretchy cord. But anyway, so I don't really do a lot of sewing other than stuff like that. But um, anytime I see people doing clusters, now Mary does clusters on on paper, Mary Atta. I know I'm not, I'm probably missing a lot of chat. Um, but Beck, I can see Beck doing clusters, and she probably has, 
on ribbons. So look at these ribbons. Look at these ribbons I got. But can't you see clusters on these? If y'all know what clusters are, where you put a whole bunch of things. Now, I wouldn't, I don't sew, but if you were, I mean, I could still do it because I don't use a machine. I just hand stitch. But you could sew clusters together with paper and layers and little you know, old jewelry pieces and stuff. So I don't know if you've done that on these ribbons back, but I would love to see that. If you haven't done that, do it back. I want to see you do it. <laughs> so I got this one and I got this one and they're thick. This one's really a thick cloth ribbon, right? They, they were on sale 50% off at Hobby Lobby, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's like, I don't know. It's like it's thick. It's like, it's almost like it feels like a quilt. It almost feels like a quilt. So you could do like little clusters on these, on pieces of this, right? And then I got this one, which looks like mattress ticking. If y'all remember the old mattress ticking. Well, Beck will remember it. Some of y'all are too young. <laughs> you haven't, but Janet Nash has? Oh, Okay. Oh, I need to probably send you and Janet Nash uh, strips of this to play with then. Because I would love to see what y'all made clusters with these wide, pretty ribbons. Well, again, if uh, if Janet Nash has already done it, I just haven't seen it. So, um, And then I got this one, which is a narrower one. And also, guys, how I'm going to use this more than anything, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to use them to make either bookmarks or just use it as strips in my journals, you know, like with other things piled on, right? Like this could be fencing in my garden journal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Things like that. So, um, but yeah, I couldn't resist these. And if y'all go to Hobby Lobby and you're looking at ribbons, these kind of cool ribbons are not over in the ribbon section. Just saying, all right, like this one is over in the ribbon section. And it's like a, I don't know if it's a corduroy, but it's kind of just like, it's a rounded ribbon and it's fabric. This kind of ribbon is over there by the fabrics, right? This is over there with all the tons and tons of ribbons that are just plain ribbons, your silk ribbons, your satin ribbons, and some, a few of these fancy ribbons. These ribbons, and I got this one too. This one was only $1.99. Um, these ribbons are over on the wedding section and the flowers, the floral, the wedding. These ribbons are over there. They're these nice, pretty wide ribbons like this. They're not over there with the dinky ones. <laughs> Not that these aren't, these are awesome too. I'm not saying that. But if you want these, these kind of ribbons, they're over there uh, in the, where the floral and the wedding stuff is. Okay. How would, how would you attach the fabric to the paper? Well, me, you know, I, you could hand sew. A lot of the girls like sew paper. They actually sew paper and fabric together with the sewing machine. But I don't, I mean, I just don't, I have Boo's sewing machine here, but I wouldn't dare touch it. But um, I would just sew it by hand. Just stitch it like I did the prayer thing on the sides. But if I'm going to use something like a piece of this in my art journal, I would just glue. I would glue paper on top. Just glue it, right? So there we go, my rabbit trail of ribbon and fabric with Ann Beck, Janet Nash, and Mary Autier. <laughs> so there we go. All right. So let me move this out of the way. And uh, yeah, so see, I just look, look how messy that is. See, it's not so neatly at all. But I want it to look like that. I want it to look, see, look, this is the cantha cloth that's already comes, you, know, you buy it like this with the stitching in it. But I want it to be kind of, I want you to be able to tell it's hand sewn, right? And if you want to see more of these, I have pictures of a whole bunch of them on my Instagram. I have tons of, well, not tons, maybe 10, 15 of them on my Instagram page, pictures of them. So if you want to, you know, get the idea how to make some, then uh, I have pictures. Okay. 
So let's see, Cassie, little sister Cheryl, you wanted to look handmade. Right, right, Teresa. Jill Hun, I think you're new. Welcome. Um, so yeah, if you want to see people using ribbons, fabric, sewing, quilting, any of that, those three girls, Mary Altier, um, Bat, Aunt Bat Creations, who's here, and Janet Nash. So those three. One and two, eight. Patrick, have you ever made, have I ever made? A, no, I don't sew, Tina. I mean, I, I've cross-stitched when I, when I designed cross-stitch pages for a cross-stitch company. I, I had to know how to cross-stitch, so I did some cross-stitching. Let me see where I put my books. I don't know if I know where I put my books. Where are my books? should be here somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. I try to keep them handy because then people ask and I show them, but I'm not sure why I put them right now. My cross-stitch books that I've designed back in the uh, 80s. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think this is them. Is this them? No, that's not them. Hmm. I don't know where they are right now. Let's see. What is this? Oh, here we go. Here's one. Is there another one there? Okay, here. So I've had to cross stitch before because when I work for Cross My Heart and design cross stitch books, then uh, I had to know how to cross stitch. But these are two of the books that I designed the animals for. And I always tell y'all this because y'all, you know, some of the young people don't know this. These are back from 87 and 88. These are all hand, there's no, com this is not computer generated. This is all hand drawn. Image, each one of these is hand drawn. Every one of those little symbols, they're they're drawn on a bigger square, and then shrunk down. But every one of these are hand drawn symbols with a technical pen, <laughs> with the Kohinoor technical pens. Uh, you know, so back when they didn't do any of this computerized. But anyway, so I designed these animals and then me and a couple other girls actually did the graphing and then we hired out stitchers to do the stitching for them. There's no way I would want to do all these stitches. This one, this is the one that won the, um, this is the best book of 1988. This one won the award for the best cross stitch book of the year. But anyway, so that's what I'm saying is, is I do know how to cross stitch because I work for a cross stitch company, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't like, I don't really sew. All right. So let's get, back. so, so let's get, back. <laughs> let's get back to our sketchbook and drawing. And now of course my hands are, you know, again, that, that dilution stains. So just be aware, be aware. All right, so let's see what, oh, let's do our giveaway. Let's go ahead and do our giveaway while y'all have been here, sitting here patiently watching me spray ink. Let me make sure this is all dry though. Let's move this ink palette, I mean, uh, soapstone out of the way. Let's make sure this is all completely dry. I think it is, and we'll do our giveaway. All right, so I'm gonna do two giveaways. I'm going to do, this is going to be for U.S. only, and then I'll do a set of cards and maybe a print. I don't know what, you know, so, something. I'll send something international. These are uh, some of my art cards, collage art cards that I've done, and I just made prints out of them. And uh, I'll send a set of those to an international because sending this book that's normally $22.99, Clearance out for five seventy four would probably cost me twenty dollars to mail international. So what's the point of buying the clearance for you guys if I have to pay twenty bucks, right? So that being said, I still like to make sure the internationals get something. So I usually send a print or cards or something like that. So that's what we'll do here. All right. So it's a little early, but I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway. Let me find some post-it notes. That one's too. I need a lighter. Let me let me get my post-it note drawer. Oh wait, here's some pink ones. Okay. <clears throat> so how we do our giveaway, and thanks everybody. If you're a lurker, lurkers, you can come on in 
as long as you are, you, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel and you have to be able to give me your address. Again, I always say this. I don't share your addresses with anyone, not even the other mods. I don't put you on an email list. I just, you know, that's why I usually have to ask you for your address. I write it down on post-it notes and I, sometimes I put them in a book and, and sometimes I just forget. So, um, you know, I usually know if you're new, I don't have your address. And if you've been here a while, that I usually do have your address. But uh, it's always good if you want to take a minute to email me your address again, especially if you've moved, because I don't know where you live if you move. Okay, so this is USA only. We're going to do one at a time. We'll do USA, and then this will be international. So how it works is when I type in go, Rachel, don't put in a number yet. <laughs> when I type in go, we're going to do USA only first. So, well, let me just cover that up. So we're not going to do that one yet. We're going to do USA only first. When I type in go, put in one number between 1 and 100. I'm going to go over here to my phone, bring up random.org. <clears throat> okay. So you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100, first person closest, without going over, USA only. We're going to do USA only first, okay? <clears throat> All right, so wait till I type in go. One number only, first person closest, without going over, USA only first, okay? We're going to do that first. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Angie Brown. Who else am I missing? I'm probably missing people coming in. I think I said hi to Journey and Linda. Hi, Lana. And uh, Amira, Deb Nelson, Suzette. Anybody else? Thanks, Pamela. Thanks, Lurkers, for popping in so I can say hi. Hi, S. McKinney. Good to see you. Hi, Gus. So anybody can, you know, that subscribe to the channel is welcome to participate. If you're here, you are a fib, a friend in the box. Axolotl says so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so one number only. Hi, Nanette. Hi, Faithful Mess. Good to see you. Faithful Mess, I miss you. You're not, you're not streaming enough for all of us. <laughs> I'm sure you're busy, you know, but it's good to see you pop in every now and then. Regina. Okay, I'm going to count down. Hi, Tommy Joe. Hi, Gus. Hi, Beth. I was talking about you earlier, Beth. Um, yes, no, Monday. I was talking about you er, Monday, Beth, uh, about the book y'all use over there, the 365 Days of Creativity. Yeah. Okay. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last call. Put your number in and stop. All right. USA only. First person closest to... 92 without going over. 92. 92. And I'll show the book. I'll show the book. If y'all haven't seen any of Dana Fox's books, they're watercolor and then she does step by step. And in this one, she actually gives you little line art to work on. And the, the paper is like watercolor paper. So you could work in the book or you could just use it as a sketch and with her information and do it on another piece of paper, right? Okay, so here we go. Who dot Pamela Kane had 90. Okay, so Pamela. Pamela Kane. And I'm I have your address, Pamela, unless you've moved in the last whatever. And I guess I should spell your name right. So Pamela, congratulations. Let's make sure she sees that she won. Pamela, you won the book. <clears throat> okay. Not too really busy, dude. Just in, I have, oh no, what's wrong? Well, I don't want you to have to talk about it here. Talk, talk to me on Instagram. Message me. 
uh, uh, faithful mass. I did not know. I mean, I knew you were sick a while back, but I didn't know that you were still in, having issues. And I don't know if it's related, but yeah, let me know. Um, message me, uh, faithful mess. All right, Pamela Kane, congratulations. I don't see that she's seen, but hopefully she saw she won. Oh, let me look back. Oh, Pamela, where are you? Uh, oh, she said thank you. Okay, she saw. All right, so Pamela, that book will go to you. And now let's do international, international for some art cards. And I'll throw in some little goodies, you know, some little butterfly stickers and what, what, you know, because I can mail this in an envelope international, right? So the same rules apply. Wait till I type in go international only one number only. First person closest to the new random.org number without going over. Okay, there we go. International. International only. <clears throat> go ahead and put your numbers in. And uh, yeah, there's if there's less people, I mean, we usually have a lot of internationals, though. We really did Canada. And, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, UK is like five or six hours, depending on the time change, five or six hours ahead of us. So, you know, they're not early. They're not here early, early morning like a lot of y'all are. So, um, all right. Get your numbers in. International. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, a one. All right, here we go. First person. Now this was for the U.S. We're gonna do a new number. First person closest to forty-five without going over. 45 without going over. Okay, so 45. All right, I see Hazel has 43. Let me scroll back. Scrolling, scrolling. It looks like it's Hazel. Hazel, you're a new person. I don't see anybody that got it closer without going over. So Hazel... Anita, a uh, Hazel Anita. Okay, so Hazel Anita, you need to email me your address. Here's my email address. Email me your address, and I will send you out the art cards and some little goodies. I like it when new people win. You're welcome. Did you grab my email there? Grab my email so you can uh, let me know where to send them, okay? So thank you guys for playing and being here. Pamela Kane and um, Hazel Anita. And thank you again, um, Lena, for your awesome sketches that you sent me. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we've done just this morning. <laughs> but what I wanted to do is, and I thought about even doing it on the art scroll, which is, um, you know, on the craft color paper. But I thought, well, maybe I should do it on the white paper if I'm going to do the lemurs. What do y'all think? Would y'all rather have it on tone tan paper or would you rather have a, a sketch on uh, white paper? which is a little harder to see while I'm drawing it. You can see it real easy when I draw on tone tan paper because I draw with white chalk. But if I draw with a pencil on white paper, it's harder to see. Hi, Zippy. Where's my Zippy card? Where's my Zippy card? Zippy's here somewhere. I don't know. Where do I put you, Zippy? <laughs> Here's Zippy. Hello, Zippy. <laughs> Uh, here you can 
Yeah, you sit here and talk to my axolotl. <laughs> Good to see you, Zippy. Oh my gosh. Zippy is a hoot. Um so um well I think it'll probably look better. Where did where did you go? Where did you go? Um uh, okay, there. Um, it would probably look well, it'll look good on either one. It'll look more illustrative on the white paper, but I can do more that y'all can see better. Tan is easier for you guys to see. If I draw it on white paper, you, it's hard for you to see pencil because I have to draw it light so the pencil doesn't show until I ink it, right? Maybe I will do it on a on tone tan. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Do I just want to do it on a on a sheet, or do I want to do it on the scroll paper? Oh, let's see. Let me just get a. I'll do it on a um, board. I'll do it on tan tone mixed media. I'll do it on. I'll do it about this big. I won't do it huge. How about that? So this is a uh, tone tan, like, you know, Rachel. You don't hear that one every day in ASMR, do you, Rachel? <laughs> so this is, let's see, what's this, the, what are the deets on this one? Series 400. 11 by 14, 184 pound, 300 uh, GM gram, I guess. That's for the uh, international weight, 184 pound. Okay, 11 by 14, but I want to do it this way. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> Let me get out my some white chalk here. Hang on. <clears throat> you know something else that I have that I haven't done on the show is the wax seals. I just saw it over there on the side. The little wax seals where you melt the wax with the little candles and you make the wax seals. Um, the only wax seals I think I've done here is when I've done some calligraphy and I just melt it with the, with the match and the, and the candle type, the, uh, stick it's a calligraphy. I mean, a, uh, a seal wax in a, in a candle like thing. And I've just lit it up and dip, let it drip and use the seal on it. But I did buy those wax, those wax seal things. Yeah, I haven't uh, done that, you know, except for the calligraphy, when I've done a calligraphy. All right, so again, guys, uh, hopefully you will be less intimidated using your sketchbook if you've inked and played and splattered and dripped and scribbled on some pages so that you're not, uh, not afraid to use your sketchbooks. I don't know where my little mushroom went. <clears throat> there it is. So what I want to do is I thought, y'all know, I love me some lemurs and I have my posters with my big lemurs and all that. But I thought I would just do a little one. Oh, here. Let me get out some white. Here's some white. I just want a piece of white uh, chalk to... Uh, Let's move some of this out of the way. Got to have some space. Oh, and I was going to draw with my purple Bic pen, and I didn't do that either. All right, so let's see. Let's move some shadows out of the way. Let's zoom in one. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to draw some lemurs in a... I kind of wanted to do lemurs in a mushroom field. So... <clears throat> let's see here oops hang on I gotta move some stuff out of the way I have no space here no space 
put on the floor till after the after the show. <clears throat> All right. Everybody loves Le I love lemurs. That's why it's in my head or in my YouTube channel. It's up. It, it's on my Facebook too. I love my lemur. <laughs> and I don't know if I got any my business cards. The the information on them are out of date. But I was looking around to see if I could find. Oh, here's one. <clears throat> The information on is is out of date, but here's my business cards. So he's a little lemur. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's see what we can do here. Um. Let's make... Okay. So I'm kind of just thinking that I want just some, you know. A few little mushrooms and have a have a lemur. Uh, I don't want this too much in the middle. That's a little too much in the middle. Where's my eraser here? I don't want this right smack in the middle. Let's move that over. <clears throat> so if y'all have any questions, put it in caps. I want a couple of like thin ones that you're kind of looking at from I'm gonna have kind of have the lemur probably right in there, maybe. And I'm gonna just use some acrylic paint probably. Because I like to maybe have a couple kind of tilted over here. Over there, the stem over there. Maybe have one more over here, kind of leaning this way. Something like that. And let's make this a little taller. So you can see up underneath that one, maybe. All right, let's see. I sent you an email. Um, okay, Herman's Tale, I'll look at it after a while. Let's see who else. Uh, Randy Rabbit. If I'm missing anybody, just uh, uh, yeah, put it in caps. Okay. So, and I've drawn many lemurs, and uh, so let me see. Let me find my. Uh, do I want this one? I think. I, let me look for it. Let me get his eyes just right. So I think I'm gonna look at this reference here. All right. <clears throat> and what I, my plan is is to have him. Kind of, and I'm just going to kind of get them kind of blocked in because then I'm going to go in with the paint, right? So have him kind of his eyes need to be a little further apart. Hang on, let's don't get too ahead of myself. And then he's got the black around them. that and he's got the black on his head if you have any questions put them in caps so i can see so when i just glance up i'll see uh is he gonna be wearing no he's <laughs> no, he wasn't gonna be wearing a mushroom cap although that's a cute idea um but uh what I want him to do is have his hands. Let's, let me get him sketched in here first. I want his little hands kind of, because you know, have y'all seen their hands? I should look up their hands, but I, I'm just going to kind of sketch it in for a minute. But you know, they have those long fingers. I kind of want, or, or maybe he should be like this and kind of relaxing on one. Maybe I like that better. Maybe just have him over here kind of with his arms kind of rest you know well no, let's have his arms crossed over have his arms crossed over in his hands like that and have the other one kind of like you know their arms his arms are crossed over each other with his long fingers the fingers will be longer than that something like that 
What do y'all think? Something like that. I want his hands really big. Kind of. Because they have hands that look like. Their fingers look like. Kind of like that. You know, real fat little fingers like that. All right. <clears throat> so. Maybe like that. And then have his tail. Okay, so this mushroom over here needs to be readjusted. Okay, so this one's right up under him like that. So I need the stem to be over here a little bit more. And then have his tail coming around. I kind of want it to come around this way, but it probably just needs to come out from over this way because his tail's not a five miles long. But, you know, do I want it to come this way? I kind of want it to come around that way. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Bye, Sippy. Oh, let's see. Uh, all right. Maybe if I have his tail coming around this way. under this one something like that over this mushroom here What do y'all think? How's that? Nothing. I'm not doing this in fancy because I only got, you know, another hour or so. Something like that. What do y'all think? I think that might work. The most fun part of the lemur, the five mile tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could actually have it come up just a little bit like that. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. All right, let me get some paint. <clears throat> some black. Some white. Some nice ochres and siennas for the eyes and what what. Let's see. Maybe a little of that. And I got to get another baby wipe to wipe my hands off. All right. Some cream color, some red. A couple of shades of red here. We'll go with true red. And a dark burgundy. That's too dark. Let's see. <clears throat> couple of shades of red probably and um, I can make my own gray but I want a little bit of a blue gray I think alright we'll see how this goes um, probably need some cream color for the stems, uh, an off-white. Again, I can mix my own, but let's see here. Maybe this cream. I'm gonna put it right, kind of in here, so I can use both. All right, so I think those colors will work. <laughs> When I, uh, I, I'm, you know, when I, here's what I usually like to work on. This palette here, but I can't really use this under the camera. You know, it's kind of takes up the whole. So, but this, y'all can see what I'm doing when I use this. All right. 
let's see what we can do. Let's get a couple brushes here. Let's uh, keep my eraser because I'll, I'll end up erasing a lot of these lines. All right, sip of juice. Any questions? If I miss saying hi to you, let's see. I said hi to Jill, Abigail. I said, I think I said hi, Darlene. All right, so let's see. I need a smaller flat. Let's see that one. I might have to go over here in my tub of brushes to find what I want. This one's close, but it's not an angle, but we'll see. All right. Begrudgingly have to. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for being here. Nice to have you. All right, so I'm going to start with just painting the tops of the mushrooms red. They're going to have white dots and shading and stuff, but let's just go ahead and get them blocked in. Just get them blocked in. which is what you do with acrylic paint. You get everything blocked in and then you add your highlight shadows, pencil, and y'all know I do mixed media, so it's pencil, it's a little everything. Am I zoomed in enough? Do y'all want me to zoom in one more? Is that, you know, ah, uh, that's probably better in right there. So if I get quiet and y'all want to, I'll, I'll I can talk and do this, but if y'all have, you know, ask me a question or something to talk about, I'm trying to think up something to talk about might be a little tricky one doing this. Because <laughs> my mind's really working on this, but I can talk. I can talk, people. <laughs> So I'm just going to block it in. And I told y'all earlier when I was showing showing what Boo's pants she made and the pictures from Christmas and stuff. And I said, she's got to go back to school in Tuscaloosa. And I thought to my later, I said, did I say Tuscaloosa? She goes to school in Tallahassee. But it was fun. <laughs> Uh, I think I want this one to be full on. And I thought to myself, and I, I went back and looked, and I sure enough, I had said Tuscaloosa, and I told Hubster that, and he goes, I don't know, maybe it's just because Tallahassee, Tuscaloosa, you know. But I thought to myself, well, i got to tell them. She goes to school in Tallahassee. I don't even know how you talk and paint. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Hi, Merkwood. I guess because I just do it all so much, you know, I do it so much. All right, let's kind of do this one a little bit like. But sometimes it's hard for me to think up something to talk about if I'm not already talking about something. Like right now, I don't really have a topic. So I'm just kind of rely on you guys to either ask me something or talk about something so I can uh, uh, expand on it, you know. So we'll see how far we get on this. I mean, this is a, the, right here is as far as I had it in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, was just the mushrooms and the lemur with his little arms crossed. And I do kind of want, I think I want this arm to be a little more like that. And again, I can paint over the chalk. And if there's any chalk left over, I can erase it. So that's why I like to do this. Um, if I'm drawing or doing something for you guys, I like to be able to um, do it on the brown tone tan or the big brown craft paper because I can do it in white where y'all can see it. If I did this on white paper on with a pencil, 
you know, I have to do it light enough so that the pencil doesn't show at the end. And then y'all can't hardly see the pencil. <clears throat> it looks real flat at first. That's how acrylic is. Well, at least how I how I do these. I do them just base flat them. And then do all the detail. And of course, I can paint over this red with his fingers or whatever if I need to. That's one nice thing about acrylic. You can paint over it. Hubster told me there's a new poster exhibit at the high This that's there now. I don't know when it came started, but he, he said, well, you want to go this weekend? I went, um, are we supposed to put in the garden this weekend? Maybe we should wait on going to the museum because we got to get the garden in. And hopefully there won't be any more freezes. <clears throat> Let's see here what we got. Um, oh, it's amazing. You can feel it. Oh, I got reference pictures. I have, uh, I've drawn this lemur so many times, I've got pictures that I've drawn of them. I always use references. All the time. Don't let anybody tell you you can't use references. Because the first time they have to draw, say, an elephant, <laughs> and they don't have a reference, it's probably not going to look much like one. Trust me, you, you, everybody uses references. If you're if you're any kind of an artist, you will. Don't let anybody tell you you don't use references. Unless you have a photographic memory. Or if you've seen one once and you never have to look at it again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Those five mushrooms there. One, two, three, four. All right, let's clean that brush. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and put maybe a little bit of cream and white. Now you can do, like I could have made these mushrooms pink, green. You know, when I'm doing them in color books. I will do a lot of different odd color combinations, imaginative color combinations. You know, and I could do that here too. They, these mushrooms don't have to look real. They don't have to be red like the, you know, your standard mushrooms you see all the time with the white dots. I just wanted it, those today, but you know, you can make it, you can make up things. I could put a big smile on his face, you know? <laughs> you know, you can, you can change things up, you know, you don't have to copy it, you know, you don't have to copy anything exactly, but if you want to know that, let's just say that the lemur's eyes are a yellow, a brownish, you know, sienna yellow color, that that's the, the real color of their eyes. If you want their eyes to look like the real color, then you, you know, you'll look it up. But do you have to do it? I could give them green eyes if I want. You know, I can, you can give them any, you can do anything you want. I'm just saying though, that, that does, you can, you can use references. Don't let anybody tell you, you don't have to use references. You have a speed. Well, he's, he's going to be behind. He's just leaning over the mushroom. He's just leaning over it. Right. Okay, let's bring this one down a little bit more here behind that one. And then a lot of the detail when I do these acrylic drawings, I do um, I uh, do color pencil details because I can get tiny details a lot easier with... Uh, with the pencil than I can with the with the brush. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> okay, let's see. Make this one a little fatter down here. I'm trying to look up and see if y'all have anything in caps so I don't miss any comments. And this is all just craft paint, guys. One of the reasons that I like craft paint, I like Americana, uh, Deco Art Americana. Uh, but one of the reasons I like craft paint is because it's so matte and you can do pencil on top of it. Whereas a lot of, um, a lot of uh, professional <laughs> artist grade um, acrylic paints, can be shiny they have a you know a sheen to them and color pencil does not go well over the sheen so i like uh, i like craft paint for that reason and i want all different kinds of bases here and then this one back here ends about right there Okay, there's a base. I can see that. I don't know if y'all can. Hi, Annette. Good to see you. Your uh, happy mail went out yesterday, and, and so did Tammy. Well, everybody's did, but, that, you know, but Annette and Tammy, I went to the post office to mail. It says, I met you now. Think of Americana's professional. <laughs> well, I don't know. I use it. Okay, so now let's see. Um, I want to look at, let me see my tail of my lemur here. <clears throat> I want to see. I'm, gonna have, I'm just going to kind of base it in. I'm going to make it make them fluffy and everything. But I just got to get it based in. Get it based, base coated. And I've drawn so many lemurs because I just like them so much. Do you, are you planning to get Kirby's new book? Um, I think I have it. Is it on pre-order or uh, I mean, have they shown it on Amazon? I know I have. I know I have somebody else's. And I got to get a little of this blue gray here. Um, I have somebody else's in my cart for pre-order too, but I don't remember whose it was. What's it called, Deb? And I'll look it up on Amazon and see if it's there yet. Is it there yet, or do you know? I know, Cassie. I love lemurs. They're just so cute. They're probably horrible in person. I mean, they're probably mean as all get out. What do you bet? Let me get here. Let me go over to Amazon. I think it just came out in the UK. All right, so let me go look. Let me look up Kirby Roseanne's. <clears throat> I wish my uh, Pictionary would come before the show ended, but I can't say. 
Okay, so let's see. All right, there's Kirby. Let me put all Kirby. Let's get mini. Let's do a by new. Where's the? I want to do a. Uh, what do you call it? I want to do a look by newest Kirby. Um, I can't find the filter. I'm not seeing the filter to look by newest. I don't know if anybody knows. Miss Mystic World? Okay, Mystic World. Or Mythic World, is that it? Mythic World? Is that it, guys? Mythic World? I'm waiting to see. That one? Okay. I'm going to put it in my cart. Is it, does anybody, oh, Devin, do you have it? I just don't want a whole bunch of the same, because sometimes he puts the same stuff in his books. Do you know what I mean? They're the same repackaged. Is this, is this one going to be different? All right, let's see. It's all new images. Okay, I put it in my cart. Well, is it available? Wait, let me go look. I didn't even say. I just like y'all said it's on um, for pre-order. Let me see what my cart says. Um, oh, I guess it's on. You can buy it now. Let me see when it says it would be uh, when it would ship or when I would get it. Let's see okay i ordered it i should get it by saturday so we can color in it on monday how about that if i get it saturday we'll color in it on on monday oops got some white paint on there i ordered it Can y'all see? I know it's kind of small. Okay, thanks, View. Do you have it, View? I know you've been doing some, showing some coloring lately, but I don't know if you've shown that one. I should move this over here so I don't have to keep reaching over you guys. Move it over here. Oh, you've been coloring in it? Okay. All right. I just haven't seen uh I just haven't seen anybody coloring in it. But we'll color in it on Monday.
Hi, Judy. What's the name of the Kirby book? Oh, the link. Oh, it's Mystic. Here, let me show the picture again. Hang on. Mythic World. Right there. Mythic World. Okay. Am I zoomed in enough? You're welcome. Thanks, Tina, for looking it up. I'm going to put his eyes in in a minute because I know everybody goes, oh, he doesn't have any eyes. Oh, no. kind of dry brush it so that it looks a little you know gives it a little roughness a little fuzziness we'll get the details of the fur with the uh, pencils but I try to get as much as I can Okay, so his little arms, let's kind of get them in some gray here. He's got a little white up under his chin, up in his chest here. <clears throat> Let me look at his arms. They're lighter gray. His little hand, his little hands are darker I just cut and paste information from Amazon um yeah one of the mods will put a link if y'all need a link Tina will put one in there for you if she hadn't already all right let's see what I can do with let me look at his hands. How many fingers should really show? Four, and he's got a thumb, but you don't really see the thumb. They just look a little kind of creepy. They're a little jaggedy-like looking. I mean, they're kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Odd little fingers. It's like knuckles on them. Something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, then they, he's got kind of a little bit of white and gray. 
confer let's put a little bit more that and see I can get in there in between his fingers with a pencil a pencil thank you Tina thanks guys all right so a little bit of the blue gray I'm still with the tour. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, let me go ahead and get his little eyes in here. Again, which I will do with pencil. I'm gonna block them in with the paint. <clears throat> All right, there's a start. I'm sure you'll have something to talk about. Tell me something to talk about. What do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> we'll talk about what y'all are working on if you want. Okay, I think I want a little bit of his tail showing right back in there. So I need a large set of color pencils. They have them on sale all the time. You just have to, if you put it in your cart, if you put the pencils in your cart, you'll find that somehow they know and they go on sale. Do you know what I mean? You'll see, next thing you know, they're on sale just by sitting in your cart. Gonna need some darker shadows right in under his little arms there. And then I'll put fur over the top of it. I'm with Julie. Oh, you got the got the rope? <laughs> uh, View is working in her Kirby and a couple of mandalas. If y'all like mandalas, y'all should go over to Barb Owens and get some of uh, get get hers. I'm gonna give him a nice fluffy tail. I'll get in here with some detail with pencils here in a minute. That might be a little too fluffy, but I'm kind of committed to it now. So let's just go ahead and make it nice and...
Okay. Maybe I should make it come around. Like it's kind of... I think I need that tail to come on this side. It just needs it over here, I think. Let's just go ahead and just do a little bit of it over here. Yeah, I like that better. Like it's coming around behind him. My sketch was arriving today with be smack. Oh yay, Ann! <laughs> I had so much fun doing that. It's been so long since I did it. <laughs> you know. Okay. Let's uh, let's dry this, and maybe I'll start in here on my hands. I probably should go wash my hands. Let me dry this, take a quick break, and go wash my hands. That is, that's bugging me that his tail's that fat. I'm going to go ahead and make this mushroom bigger. Just so his tail's not quite that fat. Probably to put two coats because red is so translucent. So let's just go ahead and make that. I'll let that dry and come put another coat on it. going to be fluffy so I don't know why I'm really working that so much because the hairs are going to be fluffy over it Oop, not quite that much there we go okay let me go wash my hands And I will be right back. All these cat toys around me that they come bring me presents. <laughs> I use my craft scrubby. I think I got most of it off. Just still a few little spots, but I got the bulk of it off. 
Okay. Fresh baby wipe. <clears throat> I let go and feel across. I don't know what you let go. I didn't miss that, Tina. Okay, I think this is hopefully dry so I can uh, erase the chalk and not smear the paint. Hopefully. Yeah, well, they're pretty clean. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough for now because I'm still working. So. I know it's hard for y'all to see the mushroom stems, but we'll get back to that in a minute. There's our base coat. All right. What do you what did you do with it? What'd you do? What do you care? Your cat caught a snake. Oh. Did it get it? Oh, well, obviously you got rid of it. <laughs> okay, let's see what I want to do next. I want another coat of red on that. Actually, I could even do a little darker red there. Same thing for under here. All right. some stuff out of the way. Get me some pencils. Some pencils. Pencils, Rachel. If she's still here. <laughs> All right. Move the paint over here. Brush over there. Let's see. Maybe we can zoom in a little more. All right. Are we losing clarity? Let's change. Let's turn down the brightness. Let's refocus. All right. Does that look okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, pencils. <laughs> All right. So let's pick some pencils. I need black and white. I need my blue gray. I need yellow ochre. I need my burnt sienna. Maybe a little bit of orange. Nah, just burnt sienna. Uh, that does crimson white. Burnt Sienna. All right, this is 
Okay. And loving reds. Tuscan red. Red. Okay. That's not I need a scarlet lake. I need scarlet lake. Hang on. There it is. Okay. So I think I have enough pencils to start. All right. Because so I want to work on his eyes and everything. Okay. So let's go ahead and get my pen to get his pupils. bit of red and then we need my brown here. The yellow and then put the yellow ochre over it. Hang on, I'm concentrating. <clears throat> Let me sharpen this. Your eyes look a little evil. <laughs> he might be saying, I don't like ASMR, Rachel. Am I too quiet for you guys? Not saying anything? Oh, thanks, Devin. Oops, I want black. I want white. I'll have to go back over this. It's kind of thick. And I want a nice white edged under his eye, but I got to knock it back as soon as that dries. Some of that blue gray in there. There we go.
<clears throat> Lemur looks very relaxed. That's <laughs> mushroom couch. Yeah, Jane. <laughs> very relaxed on his mushroom couch. I don't know what to talk about, guys. I'm kind of got nothing to talk about. I'm trying to think of something going on. No questions, no comments. <laughs> It just takes them, you know, it just takes a little bit of a minute to do this. If you want them to look, you know, kind of realistic, which, you know, I like the lemur to kind of look kind of real. How about this weather? <laughs> Don't get grief, Carla. Chill zone today. Exactly. Julie Topaz, chill zone. I was polishing my slippers for Denise. She's going to be here next Wednesday. As long as, you know, everything, everything goes well. She's going to be, uh, she'll be here next Wednesday. Now his the fur the fur is gonna fly here in a minute, but I have to get every I just gotta take my time. I don't want to rush, you know, I don't want to rush. I want it to look good. So and he's got some nice whiskers and all, but I have to do the mushrooms that are around him. So No, can't think anything right now, guys. If y'all have any questions, do y'all have any questions? Let's get his little nose in here. <laughs> are you going to buy denise a pulley um the pulleys are only in black and white aren't they if i got she wouldn't want one boo would want one denise probably wouldn't want one but if she did i think the pulleys are only black and white i'd want her to have a one that has a color the color option or am i wrong is do the pulleys do the pulleys come in colors I mean, to print color. Can't talk, Artie. Yeah. You added a quote to your commonplace book lately. I have lots of quotes. Have I added it in, in my big commonplace book? No. I haven't added it in there. But I have lots of quotes. I always have quotes. But I have other books that I have other books that I put them in too, not just just the commonplace book. 
the big one, the binder one. Cooley is only black and white, yeah. The ivy's in color. That's what it is, the ivy, yeah. I just got to keep working it, guys. It just takes me a minute till I feel like I've got it looking like I want it to look. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I need just a little dark in here. And let me see what is little, because it's white under here. So this is where I'm going to have more white under his chest, coming over his arms. I'm going to get, there's going to be lots of little, little hairs I'm going to do with uh, either Posca or the Sharpie. But in the meantime... Get a little bit darker in there. I think I'm going to want a little bit of... I don't want to get too much... I don't want to work on top of the mushroom yet because i got to get the mushroom in there before I start putting little hairs and stuff over the top of the mushroom. So let's go ahead and do some of his ears up here. Okay. I love his nose. <laughs> Thanks. And see, he has these black whiskers. Maybe I should go ahead and take a minute to do, because I can't do the tail either with the hair that comes over the top of the mushroom until I get the mushroom in there. So let's see. I'm not sure if this will... Um, maybe these will work. A little ASMR, scratchy ASMR. Now, this part I am just kind of making up. I mean, I know there's white, like, dots on the mushrooms, but I'm just kind of, I'm not, I'm just putting them on wherever I want. I'm kind of making this part up. Because this has to be finished and dry before I can put those little hairs over the top or any shadows or anything. So let's just go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and do the mushroom dots, if you will. Is that my phone? I will go ahead and do one thing now. I'll go ahead and do the between the fingers so I can add his highlights on the little fingers. Mm. 
much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> the scratchy ASMR, Rachel. Let's see, should I read something out of a book for us to talk about? <laughs> oh, thank you, Ju. Uh, thank you, uh, Pacola, for putting the link for the printers. They're talking about the printers that print the little tiny print. Uh, the uh, Pooley is the black and white one, and the, what was the other one called? The uh, Anyway, they print tiny pictures for you to put in journals or your uh, Bujos or art journals or whatever, scrapbooks. <clears throat> it always seems like you, you your Prisma pencils over cover the Posca paint. I mean, the Posca paint so much smoother than when I do it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The paint is on there very thick. And it has to be 100% dry. And I use, uh, I don't know if it matters, but I use the Deco Art. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it upside down just for a minute so I can get to these over here. So I'm going to reach over the top of it. These actually kind of have bumps on them too, I think. Some of them kind of maybe come off the top of it you know the ones that are have their edges showing like that I'm not looking at any reference so see what someone's gonna say those mushrooms don't have la 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 well should have looked at a reference huh <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I get a I get giggled though or something. Okay, I don't like that's too much. That's too many white ones right there. Let's just go ahead and take our pencil. Let's make some of these. See, it's wet still. I gotta wait till it dries. Then I have to shadow under each one of these. I hear somebody out there doing the yard work and the blower and all. See, that's chill, relaxing to me. That's my ASMR, Rachel. Listen to some, somebody do yard work outside. That's very relaxing. But not when you're streaming. You know, when you're streaming, you don't want to hear it. <clears throat> Hi, Dot. I can see great use. Oh, you're talking to somebody. Else. I forgot Dot has issues. Dot has issues with her typing. Okay, let's see. So that right there. Let's go ahead and so that's draw. Oh, let me hit it with the heat gun. So now I can go in here. Make these a little smaller. 
good. All right now, let's get in here with my Tuscan Red. That's not it. Oh, here it is. All right, sharpening. All right, so now we're going to put a little bit of a shadow under each one. You don't think this would make a difference, but it does. Let's move those over there. Because they're supposed to be kind of standing up, you know, standing off and not just flat white dots. They're kind of bumpy. So first I'll do all the dots and then I'll go back in and do some shadows in the actual mushroom itself. Can you all see the difference that makes? <laughs> what time is it? No, it's 1130. I better get crack a lacking. Thanks to everybody that's here, lurkers. I gotta I want to get as much done as I can because I want to get some of the fur on him. I'd rather finish the fur than the mushrooms. I'll post it on I'll put post it on IG later. I'll probably put some grasses here and stuff, you know. All right, that is my thought. Oh, okay, Annie's, that's Annie message. I think she's talking to the other family members in that chat. Giving him some shadow under his little body there because I got to put the fur over the top of the shadow. So do that in a minute. And then of course under the tail here, there's going to be some shadow before the fur, the fur flies. Before the fur flies. <laughs> Can y'all see the difference that makes? This is the quietest stream I've had, and I don't know how long. Just guess I'm concentrating. I started reading a new book on the history of Scotland. It's pretty good so far. It's about that thick. But it's good. <laughs> okay, so let me sharpen this white pencil again. Keeping me in the zone, yeah. These little knuckles there. He has these little weird little. Sharpening. Don't want to neglect the little details that make the difference. Let's 
see. White Castle. Do you check out White Castle in Scotland? Your family heritage. Okay. I thought you meant the hamburger place, Rachel. <laughs> White Castle. <laughs> Just kidding. My early co comment. The next time somebody complains to you about all the talking just refer them to this <laughs> yeah there you go if you send the picture to me i could see it much better in person <laughs> tammy i might make a print of it we'll see we'll see we out no i'm not going to outline i won't be outlining anything that's why i drew it in i mean th this will the mushroom parts this will be called you know shaded and light this will be colored in if you're talking about the stems, I just haven't got to them yet. You'll you'll see the you'll see the stems after a while. Well, you may not today. I'll post it on Instagram later. Um, but they're just kind of blocked in because they're going to be cream color like. Uh, <laughs> but there's not going to be any outline. Now I will do some more shadowing. Like, see, I can do darken up some areas here, like. Up under his arms here. This is going to be a little darker. And I'll blend it in with the, uh, the red. But you see, I have to get all the, um, I have to get all the, what do you call it, done. Shading and everything before I put these little hairs over you'll see just a, in just a minute sharpening So I, gotta, I have to shadow each one of these little dots. I don't have to worry about those right now because his fur is not going to be on those. But any place that his fur might be, I need to have that shading done because I don't want to have to try to shade around individual little hairs. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute when I start doing the tail. Just get a little a few areas that are darker down here. Because I, I still have his arms. I still have, well, I got a lot to do. Okay, so let me go ahead and I think I'll try to use, let me go ahead and try to use the black Sharpie and the white Sharpie. Okay, so let me, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'll, do, I'll start with the black. So right along the edges of all the fur. So see, I'm going over the mushroom. I'm going over the top of the mushroom with little individual hairs, and I don't want to have to try to shade around that. That's why you want to shadow everything. Like right here, I should do that one too before I do this, but... Eh. I'll hold it up in just a second so you can see it a little closer. See, because I'm going over the tops of these mushrooms here. 
we still are we still connected? I guess the time's still moving, so nobody. <laughs> if I'm not talking, nobody else is talking either. Uh, so, what are y'all's favorite animals? Maybe I should make a list. Maybe I should make a list of y'all's favorite animals because I always ask when I'm doing different things, when I'm drawing random animals, and I ask y'all your favorite animals to draw. But I don't think I've ever made a list of y'all's favorite animals that I could draw. Because you can kind of see how long this takes. Still on the lemur bus, Devin. Still on the lemur bus. And Devin did a new some art cards, or at least one that I saw on Instagram day yesterday at least. Have you done any more since then, Devin? That looked really cool. I should bring show it. Let me finish my little lemur tail here. Or the black part here. All right, so it's hard to see. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the white. See the black little fuzz? See how it's over the tops? It's over the top of the mushroom. Sloth. Oh, I like sloths too. I've done some sloths. Let me get a let me get the pen here. Hang on. Let me get a pen here. So we have chameleon. Chameleon. Hippo pug. I've done pugs too. I did uh Tammy, did you see um oh I don't know if I follow you or see you on Facebook. I have a pug that I did a biker pug. Have you seen my biker pug, Tammy? <laughs> Birds, big cats, panda. I've done quite a few pandas too over the years. Um I don't think I've ever I don't know if I've ever done a gorilla. Otter. I've done lots of otters, and I even had one put on a e magazine, and Hubster made it into a poster. My space otter sea that Lisa Scott named seahorse. I've drawn some seahorses for you. Wild dog. What kind? That give you have to be more breed uh, specific. <laughs> Wild dog. Uh, let's see. You did see my pug? Yeah, I'll show y'all. Hang on. Let me let me go over to Facebook. Because it just popped back up in my feed, so I reposted it on Facebook. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Come on, load. What's wrong with you, Facebook? Come on, Facebook. There it goes. There it is. There's my biker pug with the tattoo, the bone in his ear. <laughs> uh, painted wolf. Oh, it is. Okay. Painted wolf. Okay. Let me write that down. Painted, <laughs> you like that back? Painted wolf, rabbit. I've drawn some rabbits too. Puffins, I've done puffins. I don't know if I've done a platypus or not. Okay, there. I gotta stop right now because I gotta keep. I gotta keep rolling here. Okay. Wait, I wanted to put a little bit of gray in here. So you don't have to do all the fur on his face the same way. I like his tail to be really fluffy. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very fluffy little tail. Oh, we all have enjoyed today. Get some sketchbook freedom. You're not afraid to work in your sketchbook, throw some stuff down in your sketchbook. I'll I'll try to I'll try to use this as much as I can over the weekend so that I can show you some things that I've done in it, you know. Since y'all watched me do all the um uh, uh smack and dragon. I'll try to work in it as much as I can to have something to show on Monday. I was hoping that the mail would come, but I think my Amazon, I don't know, it may come in the mail. My Pictionary, <laughs> Janet made me buy the cards. No, she didn't make me. I just bought them. Janet's Pictionary is so fun. She wanted me to try to do the Pictionary on the show. I didn't buy the whole game. I just bought the cards. Okay, so there we go on that. Now let's go ahead and start on some of his hair here. I really want to get his whiskers in there. So let's see what I can do here, how much I can get done in the next 10 minutes. <clears throat> and then after I do this, I can go back in there with some of the gray and kind of, it kind of knocks it back a little bit by putting some over the top of some of the areas, like inside the ears here. But you got to wait till this dries. Let me get this going over there. Can y'all see how that's making it stand out? The Crayola Super Tips I order Monday should be coming. Oh, you'll I, have you not ever used the Crayola Super Tips, Tina, ever? They're so versatile. Oh, I gotta get this tail guard over here. Hang on. I forgot I put some of his tail over on this side. been thinking a bit of hairspray <laughs> we like him fluffy rachel I exaggerate all the fluff make it more fluff <laughs> okay so let's get up under his chin here he's got And then his arms, and right in here, I need a little bit darker. Let's see, where's my black pencil? Where's my pencils roll away? Mm. That one's broken. I think I need to sharpen it. I don't know how to. Oh, there it is over there. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is just put a little bit of
kind of blend that in. Let's see, I need to back this red right into there a little bit. That mushroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I want fur to show on his arms, but I don't want it to be white. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on there in white. And then as soon as it dries, I'll go over it with the gray. And it'll still show, but it won't be white, white. See? But you'll see little individual hairs. So in a minute I can put his whiskers in. All right, let's go ahead and do his face. <clears throat> My mom was, oh, thanks, Jill. Tell your mom thanks. know what y'all do if I came on one day and just did just did art all day and didn't talk I don't think I could do it <laughs> I don't think I could do it uh, I'm getting ready to put his little whiskers in here in a minute And you'll see when I go back in with the gray on top of the white, it just kind of sets it all back, knocks it all back. It's hard to describe, but you'll see. Just got to put in each little individual hair. Got 
<clears throat> We'd go take a nap. <laughs> Janet. All right, let me make sure it's all dry. Hang on. Okay, he's just a little adjusting on the eye there. Okay, now my gray, and I'm just going to So the hairs will still be evident, but they won't be bright white. In certain wherever I'm doing this. See how that knocks that back and gives it a nice little shadowed area there? But you still see every hair. Same thing for his arms. I don't want these hairs to be bright white. Maybe just a few on the edge. Sharpening. Oops, broke it. Give it a little more depth in here. Okay, now a little, few more around his fingers there stand out. Maybe a couple on his wrist right there. Now let's give them some whisker, shall we? I don't know if I can do it with the black. It might be too. Let's try it first with the Sharpie pen. <clears throat> Wait, I got to do this right here. Let's see what we can do here for those whiskers. Yeah, I don't think it's going to show up. I'll have to do it with the thicker. Okay, I'm liking him. Mushrooms aren't done, but I'm working on them. Let's see.
<clears throat> so what do y'all think? How's he looking so far? I, of course, like I said, I didn't finish the mushrooms and the, and the bases. But I'll try to finish them today and post it on Instagram. Thanking all of you for being here. I think I want some of those little mushrooms to kind of pop off the edge. Just a few, maybe. Once I get them done, that just gives it a little bit more depth when those little dots are kind of going up over the edge of the mushroom, you know. I'll do it on all of them. Thanks, guys. And again, the little little hairs can be kind of, you can go back in and do some little wild little hairs. Kind of like that. Oh, and he does have a couple. I think he needs his, um, he has a few eyebrow, like old man eyebrows. You know, the, he has a couple sticking up out of his eyebrows eyebrows too <laughs> and he even could have a couple coming out of his ears well there's hubster all right guys i think i'm gonna stop i will fit let me back up so y'all can see the true size of it because we're really zoomed in so now you can see what it looks like so far this one's coming along. These, of course, haven't got anything done to them yet. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, Cat and Paste. I'll try to finish them today and post them on Instagram. And uh, I hope y'all <laughs> like it. It was fun to do. I always love drawing me some lemurs. So, thanks, guys. Yeah, it was a quiet day today, wasn't it? Not a lot of chatter, not a lot of not a lot of chit chat, but and hopefully y'all will. If you missed the beginning where we went through and, um, uh, you know, kind of messed up a sketchbook so that you're not afraid to use it, go back and watch this too. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great day, a great weekend, and um, we will see you on Monday. Aw, oh, thanks, Carla. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks, guys, for the super chats. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.